Good morning, <clears throat> family. How are, how's everybody in the YouTube world doing today? Great to spend some time with you this morning. I love doing lives early in the AM and seeing who all pops in and shows up because it shares with me just how committed you all are to your financial growth, to learning. Many of you are a part of my community in Astro Flipping. Uh, some of you are in the Sub2 community. Welcome to all of you. Uh, welcome to anyone from the TTP community as well, or any of you that are a part of Jerry Norton's world, my favorite people in the space, Pace Morby, Jerry Norton, Brent Daniels, all beautiful human beings that I adore and think are just some of the most incredible educators in the space of real estate investing. Uh, but this is fun because today we're going to be doing a little lead generation. Now, um, lead generation is important because it is where the lifeblood of our business is. This is where we get our leads, our deals, uh, our addresses, our potential opportunities. Without leads, you have nothing. That's, that is absolute fact. And I have actually proven uh, for almost a decade in this space here, just in Phoenix, Arizona, but for two decades that for me, when I mastered the art of generating leads and doing that by building long lasting relationships with real estate agents and other wholesalers, I dominated the game and I continue to dominate the game. Keegley is still the most voluminous wholesale operation on planet Earth. And uh, we just keep crushing it. The market shifting has not affected us. It, it did for a couple of months. We had to make some adjustments to our volume and adjustments to the way our team was operating. I'll be totally transparent with you guys about that. Um, but we righted the ship very quickly, thanks to a lot of hard work from my team leads and Hunter Runyon, the CEO over at Keegley, my co-founder. And we have just been crushing it. We're already close to 35 transactions in the bag for the month of March, and it's just halfway through. So this is what I'm talking about, guys, being able to really, really dial in your your lead generation KPIs. Now, uh, when I say KPI, what do I mean by a KPI? That's a key performance indicator. This is your output, okay? So if you aren't doing business right now, if you're just starting or if you've been doing this for a while and nothing's happened for you, I can tell you your problem is in your leads. Your problem is in your output. Your output is not where it needs to be, guaranteed. There's, there's no doubt. That's it. There's no doubt because it's like math. Two plus two will always equal four. It will always equal four. And in this game, if your output is not where it needs to be, then you won't generate leads. That's it. Now, you guys know I have a couple of strategies for lead generation. One of them is getting deals that are on market and negotiating deep discounts. And we use a, an incredible platform called Privy to do that. And we'll hear from Benson in a little bit just to say hello to us. But there's another lead generation technique that we use at Keegley that's our secret weapon to getting some really deep deals. And that's called agent outreach. And today we're gonna to be talking about agent outreach. That's our secret weapon in having conversations with real estate agents to get deals that have not yet been listed on the MLS. These are the coveted pocket listings. Okay, we are going after the coveted pocket listings, the stuff that is still off market that you can control and get deep discounts on and knock them out of the park. This is where the juicy goosey deals come from. All right, we, we know that the on-market deals, you, you, you'd you really, you know, you, yeah, I've, I've heard people getting, you know, $30,000, $40,000 assignments, but the, the real average for on-market deals is like 10 grand. That's the real average. But for off-market deals, the average can be 20, 30, 40, depending on what market you're in. So I believe that it's really important that you have a blend of both strategies in your business. You should be going after on-market deals and you should be going after agent outreach to get off-market deals. 
Both of these strategies will help you develop relationships with real estate agents. Both of these strategies will get you an incredible income. Now, in regular Jamil fashion, we won't do any work until we begin this call with a prayer. And again, the reason for that is I truly believe that anything and everything that any of us could want or need in our life will find its way to us through our source if we ask and take a step towards it. If this makes you uncomfortable, I don't care. You can mute me for the next 30 seconds because I will do it anyways. But if you would like to join us, let's go. Father God, we love you so much, Lord. Thank you for today. Thank you for opening all of our eyes and giving us breath for giving us the minds to connect and communicate with one another. Lord, we're so grateful for that. God, we ask that you guide each of us to your purpose for our lives so that the steps we take are your steps, the words we speak, your words, the actions we take, your actions. God, we ask that you guide us to those individuals that will be of benefit to us, either through a financial gain or a lesson that we need to learn. And we also ask that you deflect us from individuals that will waste our time or bring us harm. Lord, for any of our family members here that are in need of any additional understanding of the concepts that we'll teach over the next couple of days, we just ask for perfect clarity in their minds. And for any of us suffering through any physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual pain, we just pray for perfect healing in our lives. And Lord, it is with humble hearts, and in your heavenly name we pray. Amen. All right, let's rock and roll. Uh, Emily, let's say hi to you first. Hi, guys. Wow. Uh, for <laughs> anyone that wasn't aware, Emily just had a second baby. Oh, yeah. Three Cruz weeks. Santana. Man, that is, and that's a handsome boy, by the way. I saw a picture of his face yesterday on your social media, and I was just like, that is one cute baby. Wow. Thank you. He, he looks like a perfect blend of you and Greg. Really? Everybody says, oh, that's all Greg. That's all Greg. I saw you there, too. I, I felt like I, I, I saw you in the forehead and the eyes kind of thing, you know, like I, I, I felt yeah. Emily in the forehead and the eyes. So I thought there's a beautiful, beautiful combination of the two of you. Just a gorgeous baby. Congratulations. Em. You handled pregnancy like a champ. You ha I don't know how you handled labor, but I imagine like a champ. I know that right before you were she worked, guys, until she popped. And um, she had a couple of weeks off and then hopped right in. She was just like, yeah, I need to get back to work. So yeah. this is what I, this is an incredible thing, right? Because Emily works on my team, but you know, this is like what freedom looks like, you know, freedom to be able to be at home, freedom to be able to work with your, uh, your child right beside you. How many of you guys would love to have a life like that where you just get to be able to be at home and, and take care of your children and do the things and still earn an income? Now, Emily's not wholesaling, but her husband is, uh, and, and he's doing a great job. He's a part of the Astro Flipping community and has been crushing deals in Indiana. So, Emily, for some self-promotion for your family, how do people get a hold of Greg if they've got a deal in Indiana? Um, you guys can go ahead and email him at santanapartners at gmail.com. All right, santanapartners at gmail.com, guys. Do some business with Greg santana give them a, a um some do some business get, get do some deals with him he's a great guy uh um, somebody that i truly love and would love to see everybody do some more deals with them thank you for as always emily for all the work that you give this community and your uh, efforts to just helping people with their financial goals you rock uh, i want to see benson real quick yeah hey they're the most incredible hey uh, hair in all of real estate investing. How you doing, handsome? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm I'm so excited to be here. Uh, uh, Emily, congratulations! I am just so excited for you and the family. That is so cool. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. And you just you just got a new little addition too, right? I did. I adopted a puppy. From wow, I, was gonna say, I thought he was going to say I adopted a baby, but he said a puppy. <laughs> okay, so tell us about your puppy, Benson. Yeah, I adopted a puppy. His name's Barley. Got him from the St. Louis shelter here, and uh, I volunteer from time to time. And um, you know, it's just heartbreaking to see that a lot of these animals just come through, and you know, a lot of them are older, and there's nobody wants them, right? And you know, I should have probably adopted a, an adult, but I selfishly decided to get a younger pup, nine months. Uh, he's a mix, uh, like a lab boxer mix, and his name is Barley, and he's been bringing joy to me for the last six weeks. 
Amazing. Does he still have that crazy puppy energy? He does. He does. It, it bursts. Every yeah. now and again, I'll take him out to go, and he just won't do what I want him to do, and he'll just sit there and stare at me, and then he'll just, like, jump up and run around, and it's fun. So fun. I, 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 I lost a dog uh, at the end of last year, which was heartbreaking for me, uh, and uh, I also had another addition to our family, a, a pup as well, a Labradoodle named Henry, and he's just an incredible – I mean, dogs are the best, man. They, they, I love they are them. just – there's nothing like them. I mean, ch babies are, 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 are better, but, but puppies are a close second. <laughs> puppies, I think, are harder than babies. Oh, really? Puppies are hard. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, congrats. So, congrats. Yeah, congrats to both of you guys, actually. Uh, Benson, I know that you're – you still single, dude? I am currently single. I am, I'm dating privy. Uh, we're going pretty serious. It's serious. I'm around in second base right now. Uh, it's go yeah, oh. it's going, it's going well. Yeah, you have plans to go all the way. <laughs> well, that's the hopes. You know, I'm I'm laying the foundation for that. Um, but it takes some time to build the rapport, right? So you can get to that point. Um, <laughs> but yeah, awesome. it's it's going awesome. We just launched a bunch of new markets. We just launched Houston, which is exciting. Uh, we just launched Boston. Um, we just launched. Uh, another market in South Carolina. We've got a bunch uh, the, the map has been updated. We've got like 30 uh, coming soon markets. Like we're just getting ready to knock them out. Detroit is probably the next one that's going to be launching, uh, which people have been stoked for, but that's just with our direct to MLS, right? We're just continuing to, to raise the bar, getting more and more. And then the other thing that we're launching here soon to your mill is uh, our, we just did a partnership with one of the largest um, websites in the world that does rental property information so we're going to be adding that into privy with a bunch Which of new website filters. is that uh, i'm not at the liberty to say you just can't yet. say yet no problem no problem um but it, it will give us the largest rental comp database so you'll be able to have a is it, does it rhyme with pentometer no it does not okay it's uh it's actually rental comps Okay, right. So okay. it's not it's not just like some sort of a like here's what the rent's gonna be. It's like here's the rental comparables. Um, does it rhyme with billow? No, it does not. Okay. It just does checking. not. Um how about that, med that's your last guess. That's your <laughs> okay. last guess. <laughs> okay, yeah, fine. <laughs> I think you'll get it eventually. Uh, um, I know I will. It's exciting, but what you're gonna be able to do is to search for properties based off of cap rates, gross yield, uh cash on cash return, like the there are three or four major uh, KPIs for, for determine if a property makes sense. And then shortly after that, we're going to be launching our air DNA database and partnership. Uh, so for short-term rentals, so you'll be able to search for properties, uh, for long-term, short-term fix and flip wholesale, you know, creative deal structure, all with one view. And, uh, so the team is, is hard working on that right now. Does it rhyme with Bentley? Bentley? No. Okay. All right. I'm done. Um, so Benson, we're going to actually hang out with you tomorrow. And, uh, what's great is today we're going to be covering lead generation. Um, not that privy doesn't do lead gen Le privy is phenomenal for lead generation guys. I've done hundreds of hours of, of teaching on, on privy and how you can use it to generate leads. Um, but tomorrow we're going to use privy really, really in detail to find buyers. And, awesome. and Pri Privy's got so much utility and we'll get into that tomorrow. Um, but it, we're excited to hang out with you, Benson. And I yeah. just wanted to, well, that's uh, why I wanted to jump today. in today and say hi, cause I actually won't be there tomorrow. It, the, the scheduling just didn't work. Okay. So who's going to be, be with a, us? I'm going to be on a plane. My mood. Okay. Do you have a replacement for us? My mood's going to be with you guys. Okay, cool. My has got his, he knows, he knows Privy and all the, deep dark secrets and all the cool things that we can um uh, actually the deep great secrets and he all the ways that we can how to make, really money make it better work, so. than i do with it honestly like i He's know so it good to back like how to use it in functionality and i know how to make money with it but my mood knows how to make money with privy better than i do hands down phenomenal well benson i'm really gl grateful that we got to see you today before uh, I'm, and and ha i'm happy actually that you jumped on because if we hadn't seen you tomorrow i would have been super sad well, I appreciate. I it. know I we're not seeing you tomorrow, hi. but if I hadn't seen you today and then didn't see you tomorrow, I would have been like, "Dang, dude, that sucks." 
Yeah, well, I appreciate that. It's always great to see you guys' faces and excited to learn more about Astro Blaster and everything you guys are working on. Um, so excited. I can't wait for the uh, the new developments with the book and everything. You guys are just always doing cool things over there. So yeah, and proud uh, to be part of You know team. what's great? I, uh, Privy has a huge shout out in the Bigger Pockets book that I wrote. So oh. yeah, it's cool. I, I, I definitely shout you guys out in that and 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 share about how how much success the community you know did you, did you know something that seven out of ten new astro flipping students get their first deal using privy i've heard you say that how are you tracking that that is amazing and mind-blowing but so people are reporting back got my first deal and then you ask them well where did you get yeah, it where, how did you find the deal what, what what tools did you use and then they let us know so in my mind it's like why would anybody just not have it like it just, it makes no sense why you wouldn't have it. And Emily, you've got some, some special offers for him too. So you guys, over the next couple of days, Emily's going to give you guys some uh, uh, amazing ability to get privy. And um, one of the things I'm in, that's in there that I gave you guys this time we've never done before is uh, a three day boot camp that I did with over six hours of really intense training, like A to Z training on exactly how to get a deal done in the next 30 days. So uh, make sure you get a look at that. And of course, there's always a guarantee there. So you're never stuck with Privy. Um, you, you, well, you do want it on your, on your, uh, in your toolbox, but um, definitely try it out. Love it, bro. Enjoy the rest of your, your day, Benson. Enjoy uh, your trip tomorrow. And ladies, he's single. Currently he single. Is, he's single. And he has a puppy, which I mean, and you know, if, a, if, if, if puppies like him, then that means he's a good guy. Yeah, they sense evil. They they really do. Yep. Uh, love you, bro. Love you, too. Thanks, guys. Have a great Take day. Care, man. Have fun. Em, <clears throat> I yeah. am excited to bring up our next presenter. Let's hop him on. All righty. Let's go. Ethan, what's up, what's up bro? How are you? I'm phenomenal. How are you today? I can't complain, my man. Thank you for. Uh, I, I'm definitely appreciative for you uh, for you bringing me on today. I appreciate it. So, Ethan, you have been making a lot of waves in the astro flipping community, and um, you've been your business has started to really unfold, and you've been doing really well, especially the last little while. And there's a there's a tool that you've been using that's been really helping you get that uh, success. And we're gonna jump into that today. But before we start talking about any of that. Uh, tell us a little bit about you. Tell us about where you're from, where you do business, how people can get a hold of you. Because I think after today, there's going to be a few hundred people that are going to want to connect with you. And I want to make sure that that's uh, that they know who you are and how they can work with you. So uh, fill us in. Give us some backstory. Yeah, guys. So uh, locally, I am from uh, Long Island, New York, uh, born and raised here, you know, born New Yorker. And I personally do business within uh, the, the Tampa Bay market. So Tampa, St. Pete, Clearwater. Um, you know, I'm i primarily focus on acquisition, but I also can dispo as well. Um, utilizing Privy is how I find my buyers. Privy is awesome. Um, but yeah, utilizing utilizing the uh, Astro Blaster software um, is pretty much how um, I've been, you know, getting very much consistent with my KPIs, getting very much consistent with uh, the amount of leads. Tell us your KPIs. What, what are those numbers? Uh, typically, I will minimally have at least 30 conversations a day. Um, the goal is a mandatory of 50. Um, now three to five offers a day um, and just keeping it consistent as much as I can. Um, at this point, I am a one man band um, with my partner who does focus more so on just helping me comp. And that's her superpower. I, my superpower is the power of blab. So I can just speak on the phone um, the entire day. So, yeah, no. So more so um, every single day, it's, you know, first thing in the morning, I send out my MLS automations out utilizing Astro Blaster, which guys, everything I'm saying, I'm going to demonstrate how you guys can use it as well in your business. Um, but every single day, you know, set up my MLS automation. So um, I put in opportunities and it reaches out to the listing agent for me. So um, once I've identified that I have the right number and they're willing to, you know, answer the phone, that's when I'll, that's when I'll give them a call and, you know, get the four pillars. Um, and then from there, just jot it in my CRM to comp the property later. Um, from there, touch up all my follow-ups for the day. So anybody that said, um, hey, yeah, touch base with me on Tuesday, I'm going to have the pictures for that property, right? So this way, like if I have immediate follow-ups to make, I get on the phone. Um, once I um, 
you know, make all my offer calls, my follow-up calls. That's when I'll dive into my initial outreach. And, and that's pretty much the rest of my day. Phenomenal. Wow. That was very succinct. And I, I, I'm excited to dive in. Walk us through the last two deals that you, you got. Yeah. So very first one, that one was in Tampa. Um, so essentially how I, how I like to focus on more so on agent outreach myself, um, within Astro Blaster guys, you can automate, uh, initial outreach and follow up. So like theoretically you can really automate a lot, a lot of part of this, uh, agent outreach, um, strategy, but essentially myself, I like to, um, manually cold call all the realtors because I feel like in my perspective, it develops a much better relationship with the agent. Um, I spend five to eight minutes with them on the phone. Um, really get, really get to know them. I, I tell them exactly what I'm looking for. I don't want to be put on a drip campaign. I don't want any other wholesaler deals. So I'm very, I, I I'm very intent. I'm very intentional with what I tell them I'm looking for. And once I've identified that they're a realtor partner, that's when I'll add them into my CRM. Um, so with the first deal, essentially, you know, I spoke to them a couple of weeks before, um, put them into my, into the, uh, follow-up automations about three, four weeks later, an address pops up in my, in my conversation tab. right? I comp it out. I, I realized it's a pretty good deal. Um, I was about maybe 10 to 20 grand off of what they're looking for. Right. Um, so just negotiation and got it on the contract, got it assigned and closed. Right. That one was my first deal. Um, found the buyer through privy. So I got it through, through the software, um, you know, finding it through the acquisition of the software through the follow-up and then went through privy, found the buyer myself. Right. So, um, was able to find and dispo my own, my own first deal. And then the second deal. And what did you make on that one? Uh, that one was about a, a, a net 5k assignment fee to myself. Um, awesome. Yeah. And then the second deal, very much same thing. Um, you know, it was realtor. I manually called them two weeks later through the follow-up and address pops up, pops up in my conversations tab. I comp it out. I realized that one is much more of a buy and hold opportunity rather than an actual fix and flip. It was an, a, a detached duplex. Um, and that one, the net, uh, uh, the total assignment fee on that was 15,000. Damn dude. So 20 K in the last two deals, uh, that's phenomenal. Who couldn't use an additional 20,000 bucks in their life right now? I mean, I'm rich, but I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. And, and honestly, it's, I, I hope it, that uh, didn't sound obnoxious, but like i <laughs> That was a little obnoxious. I, I apologize. No, no worries. But but really though, like twenty grand ain't nothing to slouch at. You know, like it don't it doesn't matter. It you know an extra ten thousand, twenty thousand, thirty thousand, fifty thousand in your life. Like you know, we see Andy Wrong making fifty grand a month from high school using this platform, doing his lead generation on auto follow up using Astro Blaster, and then finding his buyers on Privy and and just knocking them out of the park. And the guy's sitting in school. You know, he's he's in school. He's on he's on spring break right now. That's how that's how young he is. He's on spring break break right now in the Bahamas, probably sitting on a beach, uh, watching this live, having FOMO because we didn't let him come on here today, because we told him he had to take time off. Mm -hmm. We told him he had to take time off so that he could just relax because he did such a great job building the Astro Blaster. But Ethan, this is super exciting, and I I want to get into the the meat and potatoes. But guys, what I want to point out to you all, okay, is, is imagine this is how, this is how I view the Astro Blaster, right? It's like planting seeds. Picture yourself a farmer, right? You know that things take time. Nothing grows overnight. I did not become a millionaire overnight. There's no such thing as uh, very little work and massive rewards. You have to work. You've got to, you've got to do things. This is not it, like, you don't just buy something and then everything happens. Like, it's not like that. There's, it's going to require you to do work. But a lot of the work is automated on this. And so the parts that people forget, which is follow-ups, right? Because this is, if, again, if using the analogy of a farmer, if you're planting seeds, okay? If you're planting seeds, following up is like adding sunshine and water. <laughs> if you don't add sunshine and water to planting your seeds, what's the point? What was the point? What was the point of getting super motivated one day and calling 50 real estate agents to never call them back again, to never follow up with them again? And that's where a lot of you are getting stuck. You get really, you get really motivated one day 
or two days and you do a bunch of work and then life happens and then you, it falls off the rails, right? That's, that's, that's where I, I, that's where it hurts because, because you're not going to get a ton of consistency out of that. But the Astro Blaster is what solves that problem because it, you can plant the seeds and then the sunshine and water, the follow-up, that's what the blaster is doing for you. And that's where so many of us get it wrong. That's where so many of us drop the ball because we're not adding sun. We're not adding water to the seeds we've planted. And therefore, we have no harvest. Think about it. How many of you guys have planted seeds and forgot to water and, and add sun? All right. So with that said, Ethan, I'd love for you to take us behind the curtain and show us I, I know you, I asked Ethan to help us out with, um, uh, for, for speed. He has a, an already uh, moving campaign. So a campaign that he started uh, already and is already in the middle of conversation. So he's going to show you what it looks like when you plant this, after you've planted the seed and what some of these sprouts look like. So when I call them sprouts, those are going to be just starting conversations and then he's also um, going to show you how to plant some seeds so how to actually go and create a campaign so um, this is going to be an incredible time everybody get your notepads get your notepads and also don't be that person who just watches and then walks away like that that is that is shameful if you have not yet signed up for Astro Blaster. A lot of you didn't get in on the first round because we, we had to cap it. We had to cap it because we only had enough support to manage a certain number of users and it's open again right now. Um, Emily, how do people sign up for Astro Blaster right now if they don't wanna miss it? Boom. If you wanna claim your spot in the Astro Blaster, go do it right now. Don't be a jabroni and, and miss it again. I got so hundreds of messages from people being like, wait, let me in, let me in, let me in. And I couldn't. So don't be that person that misses it this time. There is the link. Go sign up. Get it. You're going to get your socks blown off watching Ethan and how he's been using the Astro Blaster to make 20000 bucks on the last two deals he did. Take it away, bro. Absolutely, bro. Um, yeah, so uh, you guys see my screen now? Absolutely. Okay, perfect. So um, I definitely want to, for, for anybody that's uh, just hearing about Astro Blaster for the first time, right? Like I, I feel like maybe maybe some people, it may have went over their head as to what Astro Blaster is. Astro Blaster essentially is in an all-in-one uh, all outreach software, right? So in wholesaling and what Jamil really teaches is agent outreach, right? So really there's, if you want to make it simple, there's two parts to it, right? So there's initial outreach, which is you getting on the phone with them for the first time. And then actual follow-ups, right? And like Jamil teaches, it's going to take like eight plus touches for that one realtor to bear fruit, right? Some bear fruit more than others. Some I'm, I've I've followed up with agents eight plus times, and they still haven't sent me a deal yet, right? So it's all it's all an average. But essentially, Astro Blaster is going to allow you to automate um, your initial outreach plus your follow-ups, right? And Astro Blaster is really going to be for those um, for really two types of people, right? One. Uh, the newbie wholesaler that might be timid um, and not want to hop on 50 conversations every single day with realtors just yet. Obviously, if you're new to anything, um, you want to step into it slowly but surely. Or um, if you're, you know, the busy individual that um, has a nine to five, has a family, but wants to build a wholesaling business, you can do this, right? Because the initial outreach is is uh, is automated, and you once you've developed that rapport and you've identified that the agent is going to be a realtor partner and going to send you off market properties, then you can put them into your follow-up process, right? So it can be all automated for you. Um, or if you're someone like myself, that it, it, this is your full-time job and you're, and you're looking to build your wholesaling business as, um, as, bi as big as it can get, what I do personally is I, uh, I manually will cold call all my agents to build a better rapport with them every single day. Like I mentioned to Jamil before, my, my minimum KPI is at least 30 new conversations with agents a day, right? So, um, but the goal is 50. Um, I don't count personally my follow-ups in that. So it's 30 new initial conversations a day. Um, but essentially, you know, it can be for either or, right? For uh, the individual that may not have uh, too much time or um, the individual who's, who is doing this full time and just wants to make their life easier with automating the follow up, right? It can be for uh, two and uh 
two types of spheres of people in this business. Um, now, essentially, kind of going into the actual course, um, what Astro Blaster, um, the very first thing that once you have signed up, what you're very encouraged to do is really go through the support portal. And um, number one, um, you, there are some initial Loom videos that um, do go over some good topics as to how, you, uh, how to set yourselves up. But there is a much better onboarding course that teaches you A to Z as to how to set up your account, right? So um, how, to, how to get your business verified with, with the software, how to get your phone numbers, how to, how to upload your contacts in. It teaches you A to Z from once you purchase until, um, and, and up until the point to where you're ready to send out your first campaign, right? This is really important. Um, and I'll show you guys the actual onboarding course. Oh, go away. All right. So this is what it'll look like once you hop in. So this is, like I mentioned, is really going to teach you from A to Z how to set your how to set your account up um, and really make sure that you're compliant with the software. And this way you're setting yourself up uh, for success as much as possible when uh, before sending out your first campaign. So this way your deliverability rates um, are much higher and you're not getting stopped by the carriers, right? So that's uh, So that's one thing that we highly, highly recommend that you go through. Um, to set yourself up for success. Now, um, I actually have a, uh, have some conversations that I set up this morning. And guys, this is a brand new account that I started just this morning, right? So um, I can. This is pretty much as as great of as, as an example as I can give you guys um, as to you know like what is it going to look like when you first start, right? I simply sent out a drip mode campaign of uh, I think maybe forty agents. Um, that I sent out this morning and I got 18, um, 18 responses back. And um, I'll show you guys in a little bit, but I'm only gonna get more responses because if I don't get an initial response, it's just gonna keep hitting that realtor up until they do, right? So it's super cool. Um, but what does it look like to actually um, send out your first initial campaign? I will, uh, first things first, you'll go into your contacts. I, uh, within the onboarding course, I show you guys how to set up a smart list of realtors not contacted. So what is really cool about this is whenever you go into here, any individual that you interact with via phone call, text message, email, is automatically gonna be taken out of here. So there's no like, oopsies, I accidentally hit up Carol two times in a row. You know what I mean? So this way, um, you know, you know for a fact you're never, hitting up the same person more than once. So um, how you guys can uh, set yourselves up for your initial campaign um, the night before or the day of is pretty much as follows. So typically uh, within the onboarding course to prime your phone number, we do recommend that you just start out with um, 20 agents, but I'll, I'll go ahead and um, select about 50 agents. I wanna make sure everything is good here. I'm gonna select all 50. And you're going to click this little funny little robot thing. And then we're going to put them into a campaign here. So we'll be doing a campaign of friendly approach realtors. Now, what is super cool about the software is you have a couple of options as to how you want to send out the campaign, right? So you can decide to hit up all the realtors all at once, um, right? So if you're if you're kind of doing this more full time and if you can if you can anticipate um, an influx of responses into your inbox all at once then do then do all at once right send it all at once um, if you want to do it if you want to send it all at once but at a later time you can get you can hit at a scheduled time so say it's um, you know nine o'clock tonight my time right um, and I want to say okay Astro blaster send out uh, uh, I want to put 50 realtors um, and send out a text message to them tomorrow at 9 a.m. That's how you would do it, right? So you would hit start um, tomorrow, 9 a.m. And pretty much what you told the software is you wanna text all those 50 realtors tomorrow at 9 a.m., right? All at once. But what is super dope and what I, what I personally would do and recommend is add into a drip mode um, an action that's an, uh, whenever you see action, it's just, it's just really just, uh, making you, um, label the action. So I would just say initial campaign. Um, so this would be for tomorrow, zero three, 
16, right? So I would want to start tomorrow, 9 a.m. Now batch quantity, what it's asking here is like, okay, how many realtors do you want to text at any given time, right? So I would say, okay, if I have 50 total realtors, I want to tell Astro Blaster to text five realtors every 10 minutes, right? Or every 30 minutes. So if you're an individual that may be, um, have a full-time job and you can't necessarily um, answer a whole bunch of text messages all at once, this is the perfect thing for you because you're not, you're not going to be getting an influx of responses all at once, right? So if you have a nine to five and you can only really get to your phone every so often, um, this would be perfect for you, right? Because you can just tell the system, hey, only text uh, five agents every 30 minutes um, until you run out, right? So that so that would be really cool. Um, so essentially, I have it scheduled for tomorrow at 9 a.m., text five agents every 30 minutes, right? And then you just hit add to campaign. And that's that, right? Now, how you track everything is going to be within bulk actions, and you can pretty much track it here. Right, so you see that it's queued for um, for tomorrow, right? But what I'll do here, just to show you guys um, very quickly, is I'm just going to uh, text out a bunch of realtors right now, just so we can get some more responses here. 18 is not enough for my liking, so let me go back to make sure I select 50, 50. Click the funny little robot. I'm gonna just do all at once friendly approach action. This is just going to be initial outreach. Um, it's going to be 0, 03, 15, 50 agents all at once. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So now we're in business. Now uh, to track to track how the actual campaign is performing again, you can go back into bulk actions. You'll notice that uh, the one that we had just sent out was 100% successful. So that means that um, the all this all those text messages that I just sent out, all of them delivered, right? So now we're just waiting for our responses, right? Uh, now, if you guys want to, if you guys are curious as to actually what the campaign says, what you'll do is you'll just dive into automations, campaigns, and there are four. Um, automations for you guys to really choose from, right? The one that I that I personally will recommend and I like the most personally is Friendly Approach Realtors. What I personally say in my automations is, um, hey, contact first name. So it's automatically fielding whatever the first name is of that realtor, right? So it's just gonna say, hey, John, my name is Ethan Armijos. I found your number on realtor.com and was, and was hoping you can help me with a purchase in Houston. Right, so it sounds very organic. It sounds like um, it sounds very much like I am um, an actual buyer versus a business, you know, an investor. You, you want to clear. You don't want to hit as many objections right out the gate. Once you speak with them on the phone, or once you go deeper into the actual initial uh, initial um, responses, you'll be able to tell them what you're looking for. But right out of the gate, you just want to get as many responses as possible. So that's typically what I'll say. Um, and, and these types of campaigns are stop on response, right? So once you do get a response, realtors are going to be taken out of the campaign. So they're no longer going to get hit up. Right. So, um, for anybody that may fear like, oh, what if they respond? And then if I don't react and, uh, react fast enough, are they just going to keep getting hit up? No, once they, once they respond, they're done. They're not, they're not going to get hit up anymore until you type in, uh, the next appropriate tag or you manually cold uh, call them or text them, right? So um, essentially from there, uh, but if they don't respond, they're just gonna keep getting hit up until, until they do, right? Um, which is super cool. So uh, one, now that we're gonna be um, waiting for a couple of those responses to hit, I'm just going to dive into the ones that um, I already have. So it's, it looks like I'm already getting a couple of responses already. Um, hey, good morning, I love to help. What are you looking for? So guys, now, what am I going to do, right? This is this is the part where um, you are going to be able to automate the responses once you actually get some people like this, right? So Gabrielle says, hey, Ethan, good morning. I love to help. What are you looking to get, right? Now, you don't necessarily have to type out a whole manual text message. It's all automated for you, right? Um, 
what all you'll really have to do is you'll just go to go to the right over here and you where you see add tags and you'll just type in first reply right once you type in first reply it's automatically going to mark it as red um it is going it is going to um it is going to take a few seconds um for it to hit so it seems a little bit more natural and not no more or less robotic i think it's about like a 10 second delay but we'll go back to that um, so it's very easy to mow down if you just want everything to be, um, if you want everything to be automated, right? It's, it's, I can literally just keep going in here, typing in, um, just type in, you know, first reply, first reply, second, third, fourth, um, but let's just keep going in, right? Uh, what are you looking to purchase and when is a good time to schedule a call? Uh, what are you looking for in Houston? First reply. Hey, Ethan, thank you so much for, I'd be happy to assist. Could you give me your email address? I'm just gonna type it first of all. So you see how many responses I'm getting in now, guys, right? Like it's it's actually pretty, it's actually pretty nuts. So this is one of the other reasons why I'll say, like, look, if you're not, if you're not, you know, buy your phone or buy your computer, um, if I would not, I would not always uh wholeheartedly recommend like, hey, send it all, all at once because you're going to get an influx of responses, right? Like this thing works. So um that's why I'll personally recommend the drip mode. But if you're ready for an influx of text messages, like you're ready to, to make these connections, to get deals in, you know, you know, let's move forward. Right. So uh, Arturo, I guess, was one of the people that I, I put in first reply to already. Um, I said, thanks for getting back to me. It's nice to meet you over text. I'm more so looking for an investment property. Is that something you can help me with? Right. So that's the reply that's sent out when I put in the tag first reply. Now I'll just be typing in second reply and like before it'll just mark it as red um and send out the second reply right which is super super awesome um sure what are you looking for uh, uh this was another individual that i typed in second reply so again second reply all right i'm sorry i only work with verified buyers due to the number of scammers out there please send me a copy of your mm, I'll do that later. Let's set up a time to talk and what you're looking for. I'm available later today. Okay. Are you looking to relocate in Houston? First reply. All right, guys. So it really doesn't take much, much time. Now, obviously, for, for those realtors that are saying, like, hey, when when would you be able to schedule a call? You can personally decide to just put them into the next initial um, initial response sequence. Um, where it's it's ultimately really the tags that you're adding are just first, second, third, fourth, fifth reply, right? Now, what that sequence looks like essentially is really just you vetting the realtor that they are going to be, they are, uh, they are uh, aware that you're looking for investment properties, not looking for any on-market offers, um, on-market properties or any wholesaler deals, right? Like, there, uh, the the goal of that entire sequence essentially is to um, really get you to understand that that what of what you're looking for, and then once they know of what you're looking for, um, and they're and they're willing to send you properties, you've identified that they're a realtor partner, and then you just add them into your automation, right? So Carlito looks like to be a pretty responsive agent, right? So. Um, I am more so looking for an investment property. Is that something that you could help me with? Right. Um, not at this time. Uh, sorry, Carlito. No problem. Um, absolutely. Uh, so Gabrielle says, I am more so looking for an investment property. Is that something you can help me with? Nice to meet you over text as well. And yeah, absolutely. Do you have a part of town budget? Um, anything in particular in mind? Right. So um, first reply. Now I'm just going to type in second reply. And that's that, right? Not at this time, no worries. All right, uh, that's fine. Mary, I'm happy to help. Let's set up a call. And now for, lo for those uh, realtors that, uh, that are asking for, um, you know, can you schedule a call? You can decide to schedule a call with them or not, or just put them into your next week sequence. Me personally, I do like hopping on the phone with an agent. Um, and I'll show you guys also later on how I go about actually um, use utilizing the power dialer every single day. So this way you can actually just mow through down 
uh, mow, mow through phone calls as well. Um, uh, what are you looking to purchase and when is it a good time? Uh, I'm just gonna put you in first reply. No, I don't have any properties that are, in, that are in condition to sell already. No worries. So what am I gonna do now? Give me first, second. Now I'm just gonna be typing in third reply. So third reply essentially is just gonna be asking for the um, email, right? And, and this way I can send them out what my criteria is and they're pretty much a realtor partner, right? So actually just to go back to um, what this pretty much says. So this is really telling them what you're looking for exactly. So great, yes. So really just to actually show you the entire conversation. Um, I am more so looking for an investment property. Is that something you can help me with? Nice to meet you over text as well. And yeah, absolutely. Do you have a part of town budget? Anything in particular in mind? Great. Yes. I'm actually looking for anything in Houston or within an hour's distance. I'm looking for anything that's dated, distressed, or an original condition that I can put some money into um, and put back on the market, either holding it as a rental or fixing up and flipping. But I'd love to be a resource for you as a buyer anytime you have a seller looking to sell. Do you have anything like this coming up? Right. So that's pretty awesome. Um, uh, and it's going to allow, it's going to really allow you to build those relationships with realtors that are willing to send you those types of properties. Right. Um, so that's, that's pretty exciting guys. Um, really from there, uh, let me just mow down a couple more here. Um, strangely enough, I just got off the phone with an Ethan. Well, that is strange because Ethan's not a common name. I'm like the only Ethan I know. Um, first reply, but I like you already Billington. Um, when's a good time to call? Um, maybe later. Um, would you have time for us to talk over the phone between 10 and 1130? I would like to, uh, do you live in Houston? First reply. Yes. Cool. First reply. Please let me know what I can do to help. Cool. First reply. So guys, it really is that simple to really just kind of mow down um, as much as you can. Um, and uh, great, right now I'm working with buyers and renters, but yeah, would love to keep you as a resource for future sellers. Are you looking to finance or just pay cash for something? What is best for me to help you with right now? Um, from here, so I've pretty much identified that she is uh, willing to send me anything that hasn't that hasn't hit the market just yet, and that is in dated or original distressed condition, right? So from here, I'm just going to be typing in third reply, um, and what that is, what that's pretty much doing is um, asking her to say like, "Hey, what's your email? I'll send you over my buying criteria," right? So I've within you know a couple minutes, I've already I've already identified one realtor that is willing to send me those types of properties, um, and you guys just want to do that you know, 50 times a day, every single day, like Jamil mentioned before, you're just planting seeds, right? Um, hopefully Gabrielle come res respond sooner rather than later. And I can actually show you guys what the follow-up sequence looks like, um, which would be super awesome. But nevertheless, yeah, like guys, you just want um, to really, you know, go through this as much as, as much as possible, right? Um, definitely. Cool. Second reply. Um, Gabrielle. Yay. Okay. Awesome. So from here, I'm just going to be typing in. Um, so at this point with Gabrielle, I've identified that, um, she will send me these types of properties, um, before they hit the market and that she is going to be a realtor partner and think of me whenever, um, those types of properties come up. Right. So, um, so for this personally, now that I've grabbed her email, if you notice guys, her email, automatically populated here with really me not having to do anything, um, which is pretty cool. Um, so it automatically grabs the email over here. Now within tags, now that she sends me her email, all I have to do from here is type in the tag buy box. And from here, what it's going to do is it's automatically going to text her a couple times saying like, hey, I'm gonna send over my buy box now. Um, and it's gonna send that email of my buy box to her, um, which is super cool. Uh, but also from here, typically what I look, what I like to do is um, type in the tag follow up. So it's automatically put into my follow up process. But I'll wait for now until Gabrielle responds um, to buy box. Um, what happened to Gabrielle? Hey, Ethan. 
Yes. Can we show them um, after you tag it, what it's sending? I've seen a couple questions and guys, like the only manual work that you're really doing is just tagging the next workflow. Yeah, no, essentially. Yeah. That really yeah. is the only manual work. Um, so yeah, essentially what your responses are going to be. And when you guys join, um, join Astro Blaster 2, you are going to get a cheat sheet of essentially what are the tags to initiate uh, to initiate the campaigns or initiate the workflows, um, what the what the workflows or campaigns say, um, so that so that will um, also be pretty simplified as well. Um, but in regards to what we're doing now, which is the initial campaign, but then also the initial campaign responses, right? Like the first, second, third, fourth. Those are the automated workflows that respond for your initial outreach, right? So this is still all just initial outreach is you vetting the agent. Um, so if you guys would like to kind of, before you actually start the campaigns, um, before you really dive into the weeds of, of um, sending out and contacting agents, it is also recommended uh, within the onboarding course that you go through all this. So this way you really get a, a hands-on feel as to what everything says. Um, but for the initial responses, you'll be diving into vetting process. And you'll see first, second, third, fourth, fifth, um, the buy box email that I just sent to Miss Gabrielle. Um, so essentially, first reply, what it looks like is if you dive here into SMS text, you'll notice the message that we're sending, right? Thanks for getting back to me. It's nice to meet you over text. I'm more than like um, more than uh, I'm more so looking for an investment property that's something that you can help me with, right? So from there, um, you can pretty much gauge as to what type of response you're gonna be getting. You can then go into second reply to see like what reply is, is in second reply. Um, SMS is not working. Hold on, let me go back. No, this is not opening now. See now it's playing games. Okay, so second reply is not opening for whatever reason right now, it's just glitching. Um, but let's dive into third reply to see um, what third reply is essentially saying. Um, so second reply essentially is really just saying, you saying like, um, like hey, thanks. Like, hey, thanks for, um, thanks for replying to my message. You were like the first agent in Houston to answer my text. Um, I'm more so looking for anything that may be distressed, uh, uh, distress and original condition that I may be able to work work on. Like it was that pretty lengthy paragraph that, that um, that I was sending out to Gabrielle and a couple of other people. Um, now, once they say like, and at the end of that text message, it's going uh, of second reply. It's going to say, um, you know, do you have anything coming out coming up uh, that kind of fits that criteria? Question mark. More often than not, nine times out of ten, an agent is going to say no. All right. So the the system is already um, predetermining that that's what the response is going to be. So from there, it's just going to a uh, third reply is going to say, got it, all good. I can send you our buying criteria, what's your email, right? So that's what I had actually just sent to Gabrielle. And that's when she sent her email. Now from here, what I just put her in was the buy box automation, right? So buy box send, um, and we probably are actually gonna see Miss Gabrielle in here somewhere. Yep, okay, so um, you'll see Gabrielle is all the way down here because it just pretty much finished up the entire automation. So what that looks like is once you type in the tag buy box, it's going to you know wait one minute just to not seem so much of like a like a automation. It's going to text them saying sending it now, and then it actually sends the um, your email. So like before, it'll say it'll it'll grab the the first name of the agent. So it'll say um, hey Gabrielle, our buying criteria is as follows. Um, and this is, you know, the, uh, you know, a general, um, a general uh, buying criteria for 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 us wholesalers, um, and and it's just pretty much my my email signature, right? Um, and then from there, after the email sent, hey, I just sent the buy box to your email. Let me know if you received it. Might be in spam. Um, and if it, if you're ever curious about like what the text messages are, just dive into the workflows, like it is suggested in in the onboarding course. I um, mean, really just get a hands-on experience as to like, hey, what do these things say? You know what I mean? Um, and then uh, and then the last thing right after the email is I'm really looking for the, for the ugly properties that have not yet hit the market yet, you know? Um, 
So let's actually dive back into Gabrielle to see um, what that looked like. So from here, um, it'll just say, I can send you our buying criteria. What's your best email? Uh, that works. Sending a now. Hey, I just sent the buy box to your email. Let me know if you have received it. Might be in spam. I'm really looking for the ugly houses that have not yet hit the market yet. Right. And then she she received it. So this was the, the email. So it'll say, hey, Gabrielle, our buying criteria is as follows. This is this is the this is the email. She did also email me back saying, got it. So that was awesome. Um, and she also did text me saying, understood. Let me see what I can find. Glad we connected. So we just got a real realtor partner, right? So that is freaking awesome. Um, so from here, now that we've identified that she knows what I'm looking for um, and that she is willing to work with me, all you have to do is type in the tag follow up. So you'll type in the tag follow up here. And guys, we just got our first realtor partner, right? It's as, it's as simple as that, um, as simple as first, second, third, uh, possibly the fourth or fifth reply. Uh, but then ultimately, once you grab their email for, to, to, send, to send over the buy box, you just type in the tag buy box. And like with Gabrielle, she's, she seems super cool, um, super understanding of what we're looking for. And she's a realtor partner, right? Now from here, she's entering into the, um, the actual follow-up ecosystem, which, which is uh, what I would love to be able to dive into next. Um, so essentially from here, um, we're going to be really taking her through the no lead ever left behind process. So now we're moving away from um, all the initial, initial outreach. Now we're moving into the follow-up outreach. So no leads ever left behind is going to be the follow-up outreach. So if you're curious about like what that really means and like what does all this mean, you'll dive into no leads ever left behind in your automations tab. So if you're just over here, again, you'll go into automations, no lead ever left behind. And uh, what is super, super cool about Astro Blaster is not only guys, is it is it automating your initial outreach? Not only is it automating your follow up, but also a lot of a lot of a, lot, a big portion of the actual CRM itself is being organized for you as well. Right. So I know there's a lot of um, intermediate and more advanced wholesaling businesses out there that um, have VAs uh, that, you know, do data entry for you, organize the CRM for you. Guys, with, with this, you don't, it's kind of like having a having a VA that is organizing your CRM, right? Because once um, an agent moves from realtor not contacted and you put them into follow-up, right? What you'll notice here in priming stage for follow-up is this workflow itself does no form of outreach whatsoever. All this is really doing is organizing your CRM for you. So if you notice, Miss Gabrielle is right here, and it's it's just a buffer time of about fifteen minutes, and she's in follow up one, right? Because we typed in the tag follow up. It's going to put them all the way over here, and it's going to update the opportunity from where it's at right now in Realtors not contacted in our CRM over into follow up one link. So our our CRM is being organized by itself as well which is super, super awesome. Um, and it's just it's just organizing our CRM for you. So it's just going to be, um, like I mentioned before, moving them into the next opportunity stage, uh, removing and adding some um, the, the next appropriate tags. And then ultimately it's gonna be adding her into the, um, into the follow-up stage. So I'm actually going to push Gabrielle into the, um, into the next automation so you guys can actually see for yourself. All right. So she should be done now. Buffer time, no buffer time. So now she's added to the workflow. Right? Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly jump in. A lot of you have taken uh, action and have jumped in. We are slowly filling, we're almost at our cap. So if you guys have been waiting to jump in and 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 hop on the Astro Blaster train, guys, get it done. We are almost full. Wow. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> um, also, just so you guys know that every one of you who do sign up will get a, a, a proprietary agents list. It's not, it's even, I give away a free agents list with the Astro, Astro Flipping community. I paid like $20,000 for that list. 
And this list is actually better than the one that I paid $20,000 for, which sucks, but is great. So uh, you'll be getting that agent's list as well. So anyways. That's awesome. Take action. Bye. Jamil is the best. Um, yeah, guys. So uh, what I did is I just kind of prematurely pushed Gabrielle from because um, this this stage itself takes about two days um, and it's it's to it's to not follow up with the agent so soon. So if we just establish that relationship with Gabrielle today, the system is automatically going to follow up with her um, about 11 days from now. Right. So it's it's enough time to not be so annoying, but it's also soon enough to stay forefront in her mind whenever an opportunity pops up. Right. So um, I just prematurely pushed her out, out of this so we can see her in the actual follow up automation process. So this is the actual meat and potatoes of the follow up process. So we'll dive into here. And you'll notice that um, within the actual follow up one automation, you'll see Gabrielle right here, right? So Gabrielle is right here. And what it's going to do is it's going to wait nine days um, before we get in contact with Gabrielle again, right? Now, like, like I've mentioned a thousand times, this is automated guys. So you don't have to do a single thing. Um, what it's going to do nine days from now is it's going to send a text message to her saying, uh, hey, Gabrielle, I'm seeing if you have anything that might be good for a flip today, right? Now, like always, these responses are, um, these workflows and automations are stop on response. So once she replies, She's automatically going to be taken out, um, which is super, which is super awesome. And and what is very cool as well is very similar to um, the responses for our agents in the initial. So like, so obviously, um, oh wow. So Miss Lisa says I'm working on a couple. They really think they can get top dollar. It's a process. No worries at all, Lisa. Um, but so kind of very similar to how. Um, you know, we sent out the initial campaign, but then we've, we've also automated the responses for the initial campaign within the follow-up process. You're obviously sending out, um, follow-up messages, but also as well, we're automating the responses to that as well. So we're already predetermining what Gabrielle is going to say. So whenever, um, when in nine days from now, when she gets that text message that's saying, Hey, Gabrielle, I'm seeing if you have anything that might be good for a flip today. We're already predetermining that she says no, right? Nine times out of 10, 9.5 out of 10 times, whenever you follow up with an agent, they're not going to have anything just yet. So what you'll be able to do is very simply from now until the end of time, whenever they respond to you, all you have to do is type in the tag, follow up reply. It's going to, and this is the actual follow up reply sequence, right? So once Gabrielle says to you, hey, Ethan, no, unfortunately, you know, it's a bit dry right now. You guys can choose to either manually text saying, hey, no worries, Gabrielle, I appreciate you. I know we'll get our next deal soon. You guys can choose to manually text that if you want, right? But I want to make my life easier. So all you have to do in regards to that response is type in the tag follow up reply. And it's automatically going to say for you. All good. Please keep me posted on anything new. I'm desperately looking for my next deal this week. Seven seconds later. I'll touch base again soon. Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Right now, once they receive these messages, it's going to mark the conversation as read. And what is super awesome is it's automatically going to dump them into follow up two. Right. So as of right now, Gabrielle is in follow up one. Nine days later from now, She's going to get that message saying, hey, Gabrielle, just wanted to see if you might have anything good for a flip. And if she does say, no, Ethan, unfortunately, I don't have anything. You're going to type in the tag follow up reply. And it's going to send those two messages saying, hey, you know, no good. No, all good. Please keep me posted on anything new. I'll touch base again soon. Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And it's automatically for you going to organize your CRM again to dump them into follow up two to then hit them up. 12 days from now. You know what I mean? So guys, it's it's honestly um, the best thing that you guys can utilize in your wholesaling business. Um, I've really only touched so far on the actual agent outreach side of things. You guys can also automate 
your MLS outreach as well, um, which is uh, which I can demonstrate uh, really quickly too. But but definitely, it's guys, it's a game changer. Hey, uh, Ethan, real quick, we've got a few questions with respect to just you know the the messaging and how people can switch up messages so that uh, not all of every you know everybody who's using its messages are the same. Can you walk us through the Chat GPT function and how people can? switch up their messaging so that we have different variations? Absolutely. Yeah, so guys, within the onboarding course, um, it actually is pretty mandatory for, um, and a part of your setup to change up the messages within your automations, right? Because at this point, Astro Blaster is encroaching on almost 400 users across the entire country and so many different markets. If you guys don't change it, you guys are pretty much sending out the same messages that everybody else is. So that, that kind of bears a couple of concerns, right? Number one, and the biggest thing is carriers marking your phone number as spam. So that's one concern. And number two, really just realtors really responding to you, right? If you sound like everybody else, and if you're sending out the same messages as, as everybody else, you're not going to, it's going to be a problem for carriers, but number two, you're not going to get as good of responses, right? So well, one thing that is very that is very um, talked about within the onboarding course is um, say starting out with your um, initial outreach first, right? So um, going into campaigns, if you um, say if you want to just reword uh, the actual initial campaign first, right? So if you go into automations, it's gonna it's gonna take you here first, but you have to click on campaigns right here, and then dive into my favorite one, uh, real. Uh, friendly approach realtors uh, what you all you'll simply have to do is you'll just have to uh oops not that okay i have to click at it is copy and paste this copy and paste that and then you'll see the friendly astro ai right here which is super super awesome for so you guys don't even have to spend the mental energy having to create your own messages right so it's super awesome so you can really just write write this uh, in a nice way with five different variations. Hopefully I spelled variations right. How cool is this, man? Awesome. So yeah, it'll say, you know, hi, Greg, I'm Ethan Ar Ar uh, Army Joe. I, re I recently discovered your contact details on realtor.com. So guys, you guys don't even have to spend the mental energy having to reword this, right? So it is recommended, like I said before, in the onboarding course for you guys to go into to the workflows, go into the campaigns and just reword some things. So this way you're um, increasing your overall likelihood of just creating much better relationships, right? Um, and there's a reason why, guys, this is a brand new account that I literally just started this morning. Um, and what is super nice about your campaigns is if you go into campaigns, you guys can see how many people total you've put into the automation, right? So I just today, I put in 104 realtors in, in this automation, right? There's 63 still currently active in there. 41 that have replied to me and what is super nice is you can you can really get a gauge as to what your reply rate is right so how many people are you um putting into the automation versus how many are responding right and what is what is talked about in the onboarding course is you want to get this ideally to about 50 percent right now guys this is a, this is an account that i have barely even set up and even just because i reworded it i reworded the campaigns and I reworded the messages to sound much more um, approachable and real. I've got almost a forty percent answer rate. So it's it's it guys. There's really no there's really no argument to say that this thing works. And and ultimately, once you and what I personally will teach is, you want to get this to the point to where you you have a fifty percent response rate, right, or more, right. So because this way, if you guys know that. Hey, my job and goal every single day is to have 50 conversations. Well, then if you have a 50% response rate, how many realtors should you be texting every single day? You and know in your mind. Yeah, just to put this into perspective, guys, for any of you that have ever done a direct-to-seller campaign, right? And when I mean direct-to-seller campaign, I'm saying you, you go get an equity list or you go get uh, an empty nester list or you go pull a list of code violations or um, and you know tired landlord list, okay? Um, you're going to have to, A, get that list, 
skip trace that list at 15 cents a record and then call everybody. All right. Now, usually the minimum I've ever seen one of those lists cost is like 16 to 1800 bucks for one list, for one little list to do direct to seller for one little list. It's like almost 2000 bucks and you can burn through that list in a matter of days, mm -hmm. in a matter of days. And, and so if you, if you're, if you're really looking at this business and you're saying, I'm going to do this business and you want to do this for, you want to do this for life. Like this is something that you're, you're building relationships on. You're making this a part of your world. I, I just can't understand how the small barrier to entry to get into this system is, is, and again, not everybody, I get it. Some of us just don't have the finances and that's totally fine. I, 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 I. I respect that and by all means, do it manually until you get your first few deals done and then jump in. Um, but for those of you that do have the resources, it's it's pointless. It's pointless not to try. Absolutely, no, absolutely. And, and guys, like uh, what I was mentioning before is that, you know, once you get a good grasp of what your numbers and what your reply rates are, um, really after a week, you really should be getting uh, of consistent action, you really should be getting a reply rate at least of north of 40%, right? So at the end of the day, you can pretty much generate conversations at will because if you have a if you have a conver uh, if you have a reply rate of 50% or more, you know every single day you have to you have to text out 100 agents in order to get your 50 conversations, right? And you can spread that out through the drip mode across the day, so you're not so bombarded at one given point. Right. But guys, you can really just generate conversations at will, which is really super exciting, um, especially when it comes to really the consistency every single day, day in and day out. Um, and like Jamil mentioned before, really just reaping the benefits of the follow ups. Right. Um, and really just to dive into really the actual follow up process. Um, workflows. So really just to dive a little bit deeper. So as of right now, our lovely friend Gabrielle is in follow-up one, right? And I already mentioned what follow-up one text message is and what the response would be to that. Um, but, you know, once she um, is, you know, gets the message, we type in the tag follow-up reply, um, she's automatically going to be dumped into follow-up two, which 10 days from now, it's going to actually send her um, a voicemail drop um, and also a text message. Hey, I just tried giving you a call. Just wanted to touch base with you to see if you had any distressed pocket listings coming up, right? So, you know, every single, uh, every single about two to three weeks ish, and it, it grows incrementally um, as to how many times uh, the, 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 uh, the actual time span of, of when you're following up with them next. So uh, the first follow up, you're following up with them nine days from now, right? So they don't forget about you. Um, the next follow up is 10 days. The next follow-up is 12 days, 14, 18, 20 days from there on after, right? Um, and it's super exciting. Um, and they, if especially if you go in, go in and do the onboarding and you reword everything to sound just like you with your personality and your pizzazz to and really, you know, shine your personality through your messages. It's you're gonna get your you're really gonna explode um, and really kind of just. Uh, you know, really just grow from there um, with the work that you're doing day in and day out, either through the manual calls, either through um, the follow ups. It, it really doesn't matter. You guys can really kind of tailor this to yourself. Um, what I personally do um, in my business. So really, now that you guys kind of got a, a good grasp as to the follow up process, um, what I personally also like to do is um, is I don't necessarily actually do more so initial um, outreach automation. I personally actually like to uh, cold call all my agents, right? So this way I can develop a better rapport. So what I'll do to do that is I'll go to realtors not contacted again. I will, you know, submit my 50 for the day. Typically through my KPIs and I track my KPIs like a madman. If I dial 50 unique numbers and I dial every number twice, um, if I cold call everybody, typically that'll land me um, about 30 to 32 actual conversations. I, ha I have about like a 60% an um, uh, answer rate. So what I'll do to do that is um, to load up the Astro Blaster power dialer is I'll just uh, select my 50 records, add the tag of power dialer. 
and I'll just type in power dialer, today's date of 0315. Now, what you'll do is you'll go into conversations and manual actions here, right? So you'll know, you'll see all of the realtors that you just added in. And as very simple as it sounds, really all you, all you have to do is hit let's start and it starts dialing for you, right? And you can really mow through some phone calls. Um, typically, I will get through about 12 to 15 calls per hour, um, which, which, is pretty, which is pretty consistent for me. Um, and that's with no answers. That's with some answers. Uh, but yeah, typically, I, I can get through about 12 to 15 calls um, on average per hour. And guys, within, within a couple of hours, if you're doing this full time, I would recommend you do this. But if, uh, if, you're, if you're an individual that wants to automate the initial outreach, guys, you saw with Gabrielle how effective it can be, right? Um, and if I really want to just kind of dive back into here, um, you know, I can, it's, let me just mow down. Hell yeah. You know, I like you, Adam. I like your energy. Hell yeah. First reply. I do mostly San that's, Antonio, that, mostly. That is so, I, I, guys. I, I just want to point out. Look at the replies that pe we're getting here. It, it's yeah. It, people are not being like, "Stop, leave me alone, go kill yourself, you suck." No, yeah. people are like, "Hell yeah, let's go." I, I, I do mostly San Antonio, but I do have stuff in the Houston. Like this is this is phenomenal. Yep, it's crazy. Like the responses are just coming. The responses are just coming. This is this is the power of leveraging the technology to to do your ge lead generation for you. It's ridiculous. Absolutely. So, uh, and I got another one too. So I think Miss Sandra um, is another realtor partner. So I sent. What are you looking for? I'm looking for this. I'm looking for distressed properties. I'm looking for absolute like garbage, possible trap houses. Um, that, that's not what that says. Um, but yeah, she sent me the email. So I'm going to send her my buy box. And that is that. Um, what do you, do you currently live here? Please let me know the parameters of your search. First reply. I'm working on a couple. Like, uh, yeah, like look, look at what's happening here. This yeah. is crazy. I'm working on a couple. Like, I can't get, I can't get responses like this when I'm, even when I'm calling, I can't get these kinds of responses this fast. Like, we've been on here for yes. just over an hour. And we've already got people with good, solid opportunities coming. And these are planted seeds. These are relationships that are going to build that are going to turn into opportunities. Again, guys, I, I get it. Some of you don't have the finances. CJ, no problem. That's totally cool. Do, do your thing. You can manually do it as well. It, it, not everybody is going to be in the same place. But if you are in the position to take advantage of it, I still don't understand why. There's a handful of spots left. Let's, let's go. Guys, and honestly, I think... Um... I think I think really uh, the small investment really pales in comparison to the actual return that you guys can make, um, because guys like to, to be quite frank, me personally, I was teeter tottering a lot of my KPIs and battling uh, my own my own struggles of being consistent with the system, and I wasn't even utilizing it to its full capacity. And within and two of my deals this year came from the system, right? So it really, it really, and that, and that netted like, like before netted 20 K in assignments. So guys, it absolutely works. And I really do think the investment is absolutely worth it. I think if you guys, um, no matter how you tailor the system to your daily KPIs, I think it absolutely will, um, make the investment back. Um, and, and that's just, that's just my honest opinion. Well, look um, at what Emerald 2023 just said. I'm in at 30% responses so far in four hours. I've received three properties hey, and one go. scheduled call. I'm I'm at a loss. Let's go. And how many how many how many actual direct to seller campaigns do you have to get just to get three leads? Dude, it, a direct to seller in order to get a lead, you got to talk to 200 people. <laughs> Jeez. You've got to you've got to talk to 200 homeowners in the middle of dinner to get a lead. Yeah. 
that's that that's the KPI and direct to seller. Direct to seller works, yes. But guys, these are direct to seller deals because they're pocket listings. They're pocket listings. These are off market. Yep. So these are chunky donkeys. He got a 15k assignment off an off market pocket listing. That's how these work. Yep. Um, and guys, it just it's it's just so worth it to me. Um, yes, I can help with investment properties. What are you looking for? Okay. Second reply. What type of investment? I won't lie to you. I'm pretty right. Picky and about they which cuss you out when you with. when you call direct to seller. And they cuss you out, Andrea. You're right. <laughs> um your response is very vague well um, let me put you into my second reply and then i'll tell you right now uh bodoin i hope i'm saying that right bodoin bodin maybe bodin nice name but i i i apologize if i butchered the pronunciation a pocket listing is a is a is a property that a real estate agent has control of but has not yet put on the mls so it's off market but it's for sale and this happens a lot this happens oh, it's called bo bo i got you bo uh so bo um a pocket listing is a is a property that a real estate agent has available but is not listed on the mls these are where the money lies the money is sitting in a lot of pot in getting pocket listings. So Keegley, my company, right? Our average assignment fee for JVs and on market deals, 10,000 bucks. Okay. Our average assignment fee for JV deals and on market deals is 10,000 bucks. Our average assignment fee for off market pocket listings, $25,000. Significantly larger deals when you're doing off market because people just pay more money for it and there's no price stamp. And because there's no price stamp, there's no people, they don't know that it's available on the MLS. It's just, it, it's off market. So they, you get more money for them. It's just natural. That's how, that's how this game works. Congratulations, Richard. We're happy to have you on. Hey, let's go, Rich. Love to have you on. The, love to have you also on the support calls too. Guys, another, another cool uh, feature that me and Andy like to do also is, obviously, I know starting out, you guys may have some questions. Um, so obviously you guys can decide to go in through the support portal here and um, and actually submit a ticket so uh, the, the actual support team can get to your questions sooner rather than later. But if you guys would actually like to hop on two of the live calls that we do weekly every week on Thursdays and Saturdays, we do not end that call. Um, it's me and Andy that run the th uh, Thursday call and I, I host my own call on Saturday mornings. Um, Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we do not end, end those calls until we've answered each and every one of your guys' questions. So this way, if there's like a burning question, how do the automations work? How do I set myself up? What's the goal of this? You know, what's the best way to approach this when this happens? Or if like a unique message comes in, you guys can hop on those calls and you're you're speaking to myself or Andy. Um, so this way, like you guys can, can feel 1000% confident with yourselves that you know how to use this vehicle um, you feel supported in using it. And this way there's, it's pretty much, it's pretty much as long as you're actually doing the consistent work, you guys will see the result. So, um, it definitely, it definitely is worth it. Um, and guys, yeah, let's just go through some more conversations. Will do. Thank you. Um, did I just get another realtor partner? Hot dog. So nice job, dude. Let's go follow up. Let's. Go. And I love the fact that there's ongoing support. That's another thing, guys, that doesn't happen a lot. You know, this is why I love Privy so much because Benson is constantly delivering support. And the same with Astro Blaster. The reason why I'm supporting this as much as I am, guys, I, I just so you know, I, I didn't develop Astro Blaster. This was all Andy, 17-year-old guy who wanted to figure out how to do business while he was in high school, built this. I helped him promote it because I saw the utility. I saw how well and powerful this worked for him. And I thought, Everybody who has a W-2 job, if you're if you go to work nine to five, how do you how do you do your follow ups? How do you run this business if you're working nine to five? If eight hours of your day are stolen from your employer, how are you going to get this? How are you going to get out of that trap? This is how you get out of the trap. This is incredible, Absolutely. dude. How many how many partners do you think you added just from today's campaign? At least two. And I'm not I'm not Phenomenal. even finished. I'm not even finished. And like, and typically guys, yeah, like to put it in perspective, I personally like to do a little bit of the harder work of doing the actual manual 
phone calls initially. Um, this this actually may have teeter tottered my my um, my initial because uh, of like my initial outreach. Because typically, if I speak to about if I actually speak to say thirty agents uh, today, right? Out of 30 agents, I'll probably have anywhere between 22 to 24 agents that agree to send me to send me um, off market properties. I typically don't have a, a big drop off as to how many people I've spoken with as to how many are actually agree uh, have agreed to send me um, only off market pocket listings. Right. Um, but, guys, you see, like within within only like I would say probably what, like 30, 40 minutes of me kind of um, willy nilly typing in a couple of tags, I have two realtor partners, right? Like it's really not that, that, that hard of work. Now, obviously there are going to be realtors that say, Hey, you want to hop on a call with me? Um, you guys can do that, right? Like it's, it's more, it's more than okay to be able to speak to the realtor. Um, and I, I firmly would agree that hopping on the call with them would develop a better relationship, but, um, all in all, I think, I think, uh, it guys, the tool absolutely works. Um, so, I, so we got a second realtor partner already. I should be, I, I should, but nothing at the moment. I will look and send you some, what is your email? So I'm going to so type the, in. The, the cool thing is, is like all of these people, right? They're, the, the thing that I want everyone to pay attention to is that it, it, initial outreach should look exactly like this. You're not very, very rarely are they going to come out the gate with an address. Mm -hmm. The, the average, cause I, I do this at key glee and, Again, we're the most successful wholesale operation in the country, and we use and we strategize and and uh, dominate using agent outreach as our primary modality for lead generation. And it, on average, takes between eight to thirteen follow-ups before an agent will actually deliver an address. Eight to thirteen follow-ups, and so if you're planting seeds, you're not giving them sunshine and water eight to thirteen times. There's no plant. There's no harvest. So mm -hmm. it starts off and then the follow-ups are the nutrients. Have we had anybody say, leave me alone, by the way? Not at all. Not a single negative uh, response. Maybe, I mean, maybe this guy, Dylan. This guy, no, just no. Okay. Just no. And, you know, and that's cool. Even that, even just no is just no. You know, he wasn't yeah. like, no, go pound sand. It was just no. But for the most part, people are responsive. They want to actually do business with you. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Actually, it's like it's funny. It's just like, hey, can you help me out with the purchase? No. Okay. I'm sorry, Dylan. Um, I'll be out in a meeting soon. I want to reach out to what your areas are interested in. First reply. And at this point, it's just kind of more or less like a video game. So it's just like, yeah, I can just type in a couple buttons, and make some relationships. First reply. Yes, our group would love to assist you. Um and yeah, guys, this this is pretty much as simple as it gets. Like, I just keep getting responses in. Um, I just keep getting responses in, and it's 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 absolutely nuts. So, price range, I will answer that once I get my buying criteria. So I'm gonna put them in third. So, I have a lot of people. This woman actually just called me. What type of investment? So yeah, it's uh, guys, I love it. Can I give you a call at twelve? I would happy to help you. Give me a call. Yes, absolutely. What part of town? First reply. First reply. I need you to Venmo me money. I need a loan of 25000 I will pay you back. I don't know if I want to work with you, Kimberly. I'm going to mark her as lost. No thanks. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it's pretty much as simple as that. Um, oh, also another thing I wanted to mention to you guys is kind of how I also will um, automate my MLS outreach, right? So another cool thing that Andy has developed is um, MLS outreach. So if you go into automations again, an MLS listed automated outreach through just a through just a simple um, tag being added. You guys can also reach out to the listing agent of um, of a property, right? And I can actually probably go through um, kind of what that looks like in uploading. I already have a couple in here uploaded for you guys, so you can actually see what the uh, has simp how simple it is to really just you know 
push out a push out a tag and uh, reach out to these listing agents. But essentially, just with adding in the tag MLS deal, you're going to be sending out the tag, um, sending out the message. Um, Hi, Sarah. My name is Ethan Armijos. Are you the listing agent for 123 Main Street? I would love to place an offer on the property. Right now, the goal of that is obviously for the listing agent to come back to you to say, um, hi, yes, I am. What would be your offer? Or you're just ultimately really getting them to respond. So you realize that they have a working phone number. Because one thing that I realized that some more often than not, some listing agents don't like picking up the phone. So sometimes you kind of have to just get uh, get around to making sure you, number one, have the right number and number two, that they are responsive. So this is a great way just to make sure that you do have a mobile phone number for them and that they are responsive and that they are still accepting offers for the property. Once I've identified that, um, that once you, so once you put them into the tag and they respond, I've identified that like, obviously they're pretty responsive and they're still accepting offers. So right when I get that message, I will, you know, hop on the call. Right. So it's super exciting, um, in that regard. So yeah, let me go to contacts. If you notice, I have, I have this set up for, um, set up as well. So I have the actual, these are the listing agents, two properties, right? So if I click on Miss Rhonda, if I go into, uh, is it internal? Nope. Additional info. There you go. So her listing was 5315 something, something Houston. So it's a beautiful, uh, I don't even know if I want to use the word beautiful, but it's a, it's a house, right? It's a project that we look for. It doesn't even look like it has a roof. You know, it's bad when they don't show pictures of the interior. Um, but that's exactly the, the type of properties that we want, right? So um, I pretty much have that exactly um, and uh, have four of these. So really all I would do is I just select four. And then from there, I type in the tag, oops, MLS deal. And I'll just do uh, MLS outreach, what's today's date, 0315 and add, right? So I saw that all four were successful and they should be getting those text messages soon. Uh, I just wanna make sure that went through. Okay, MLS listed automation outreach. Um, let me actually click on the contact. So yeah, that'll be sending out shortly. But um, but yeah, guys, that's another way, and that's another cool. Um, automation that Andy has really built out for the actual MLS um, outreach. So this way you can, um, and that's what I personally do in my business. So like I mentioned at the very beginning of the call, I will auto, I will send out the actual automations um, for, for my MLS. So I'm waiting for listing agents to really get back to me, right? Um, and then from there, that's when I'll dive into like my follow-ups. So another cool thing that um, that is really neat it is your tasks right here, right? So you'll find that within your dashboard. So let me actually get back to Miss Gabrielle, right? So um, what's the easiest way to find Miss Gabrielle? Because I just sent out a lot of messages. So I'll probably easier find her through here. So let me pull her up here, Gabrielle. Okay. Oop. Did I stop sharing my screen? Sorry about that, guys. So um, I just have Gabrielle uh, popped up back here. So now um, imagine in what, within one of uh, the follow-ups or even right from the get-go of the initial message, right? Imagine if Gabrielle uh, came back to us to say, um, hey, yeah, Ethan, I actually have one. It's a complete gut job, um, not financeable whatsoever. We need a cash or, you know, we need a cash offer, right? Um, but she said like, hey, and I and, and my kind of standard operating procedure, whenever getting any form of inquiry of an off-market property is I need photos or videos of the property, just indicating the condition. 
Um, secondly, the age or the condition of the majors of the property. So obviously like their own, what's the age of the roof, HVAC, water heater, electrical panel, condition of the foundation. I just need information and condition of the majors. And then from there, thirdly, what's the seller's asking price, right? Once I'm able to piece all that together, typically I'm able to get my offer out to an agent um, for the property. But say uh, Miss Gabrielle sends me an address and she, and that's it, right? And she's like, hey, Ethan, yeah, like, uh, and I tell her like, hey, Gab, I need pictures, right? Like, do you have pictures? And if she, if she comes back to me and says, no, unfortunately, I don't, um, you know, if today's Wednesday, say like, yeah, I'll, uh, we should be clearing the property out and I'll, um, I'll have pictures for you on Saturday, right? Okay, well, a great way to, to kind of remind yourself to be able to make sure you get back to Gabrielle because this, guys, this is a hot lead now. Like you need to make sure that, um, that you're standing on top of it, right? So typically what I do, if, if she just texted me the address and it said, one, two, three main street, right? What typically what I'll do is go into opportunities here. I'll click add. And then from here, I'll just do one, two, three main street. You'll dive into the realtor pipeline um, and active deal off market, right? So this is just you kind of storing it within your CRM um, to make sure that nothing is really seeping through the cracks. Um, and typically I always like to put the agent name as the opportunity source. So all that is done. Now, what I'll do from here um, to really remind yourself to make sure you reach out to Gabrielle is the actual follow-up. So if she told me to reach back out to her on Saturday, I'm just going to say follow-up. And in the description, um, Gab told me to follow up Saturday. Pictures will taken them and excuse my poor spelling. I went to private school for no reason. Um, and I'll just assign that to myself. And then if she told me to follow up with her on Saturday, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'll follow up with her then I'll hit save. And now where that's going to pop up. So you don't have to annoyingly always have to go to Gabrielle to figure out what you needed to follow up for uh, was in your dashboard right here, all of your actual follow up and tasks are going to pop up here, right? And it's super cool because if it's you and maybe a partner or a couple of people sharing the same account, this can be assigned per user. So if you want to see all of the uh, all of your actual tasks for all of your team members um, or anything like that, you can click all. Or if you just want to uh, see just your own tasks, you can see it right here, right? So this way, um, what my personal workflow is every single day um, like I mentioned before, is I show I do the um, MLS automation. So I will do I'll send out the actual MLS um, automations out, and then from there go back into my tasks to hit up every single one of my immediate follow ups. And my personal business, the um, you know my personal tasks are filled with agents that have told me, hey, yeah, um, I will have the pictures done here. Or like, yeah, call me, call me at this date. I'll be able to share with you the the address then. Um, or like, hey, here are the pictures. Here's the address. I'm just waiting on the asking price. Like, there's a lot of different things that agents will will inevitably say, but not to get too much into the weeds of that. But for no, for whatever reason, if you need to follow up with an agent and it's immediate and you don't want to count or rely on an automation, I would put it here, right? Especially when it comes to agents that say like they have an off market property or they're like they've gave you pieces of a, of a deal or a lead, right? Because at that point, guys, like that's money waiting for you. So um, I personally don't want to rely um, on an automation for that. I want to make sure I'm getting on the phone, I'm building rapport, I'm beating out any other investor or, whole, or wholesaler that might be getting sent that deal as well, right? So I want to make sure like I'm forefront of the mind, I'm, I'm getting in front of that deal and I'm, and I'm getting that thing locked up, right? Um, so that's so that's personally how I will navigate the tasks. And then from there, um, you know, I might actually be uh, be going into initial campaigns. But yeah, once uh, once I've done my MLS automations, I've done all my I've done all my um, follow up calls from there. That's when I'll do my you know initial outreach. And guys, for me personally, it looks it, it, I just do more of the. Um, you know, power dialer, manual, hitting the phones every day to, to develop rapport. 
or you guys can choose to do the initial initial outreach. You know what I mean? Um, and and guys, like like it's been proven today, it it's absolutely effective. Um, I still have a boatload of conversations that I still need to get through. And your goal every single day should be to clear this out, right? It should be to make sure that you're responding to absolutely everything. Um, and if and if you guys are like curious as to like, hey, like what happens if an agent does not respond to me, right? So if I have a realtor within, um, you know, reply to, and if they don't respond to the message, guys, these automations keep hitting the realtors up if they do not answer. So as of right now, I have two people that I've typed in uh, uh, the, the second reply to, which is um, great. Yes, I'm actually looking for anything in Houston within about an hour's distance. Um, I'm looking for anything that's dated, distressed, whatever. Um, if they do not reply to that, they just keep getting hit up, right? So two days later, it's going to say, did you get my text? Seven days later from that, it's going to say, are you not interested in working with me, right? Um, a slight time delay from there. Let me know so I can remove you. I'm looking for realtors that actually answer the phone, right? That might be a little rude for most, but I'm a New Yorker, so I don't care. Um, but at, at the end of the day, yeah, like guys, these these keep hitting the realtors up, right? So your response rates are only going to grow, especially as realtors just um, realize that um, this doesn't really feel so much like an automation and an, and an actual person calling me. So guys, yeah, this this absolutely works. Um, but I'm, I'm just curious for, from at this point, guys, do we have any um, questions that, that we can kind of clarify for some people or maybe they have uh, any concerns that they might want to share? No, no worries. Margaret asked Ethan, when are your trainings on Thursday? Question mark. Trainings on Thursdays are at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Renee yeah. asked, what's the follow-up after the initial personal contact via phone? Great question. So honestly, it's the same thing. So in my business, um, that's exactly what I do. I'll, I'll manual call everybody. And from there, um, you just type in the tag follow-up and it's going to put them into that follow-up ecosystem, right? So, you know, once you got, once you get off the phone, you've identified that, that they're a realtor partner and that, um, you know, they're, they're going to be, you know, sending you only off market opportunities. Um, you hang up the phone, you type in the tag follow-up and then that's that. Awesome. Yeah, no, it's, uh, made my life a whole lot simpler, you know, because honestly, like sometimes those those follow up, like if you're doing everything like by phone, like in your calling and, and, and speaking, speaking to agents and following up and calling them, it's like sometimes it can be a little mundane. It's like, hey, you have anything? No. OK, great. Bye. Like so this way you kind of avoid some of that awkward um, conversation. Um, now, me personally, I'm not much. I try not to be that much of an awkward person. But if like if you don't have um, as much, I guess swag or charisma um you know these 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 automations are going to save your butt you know so it's awesome um do you get your listings on mls outreach on privy absolutely so uh, how that really works is um i will go through privy i personally like to at least import at least five to ten properties from privy over into astro blaster so i will make sure i get the realtor's name I, you know, pretty much skip trace the realtor to make sure I'm grabbing their mobile phone number because you don't want, you want to be, you want to make sure that you're not texting like a landline, right? So you want to make sure you're grabbing the realtor's mobile phone number. Um, so making sure you grab the name, mobile phone number, the address of the property, um, and then you're just formatting it into Astro Blaster correctly. And then every single morning, you just type in the tag MLS deal for every single one of the, uh, for every single person that you want to reach out to. And Boom, that easy. How great, oh, how, okay, great. How do you handle carries blocking text messages? So I'm assuming they're probably saying like, how, how do we handle carriers blocking the text messages? Yeah. Um, no, that's a great question. So within the onboarding course, one of the biggest things that I personally will say like, look, this is like, the one and only thing you really should be concerned with, like more than anything is um, within your business profile, getting your business verified through the software itself 
And then, uh, and with that, it's, it is going to ask some personal information because it is verifying that you are a legitimate person and that you're a legitimate business looking to reach out to these individuals in regards to legitimate business. You know what I mean? So it's, it is going to ask you like, okay, yeah, what's your name, email, phone number, your business location, um, your, your, your entity information, if you do have a business entity. So it is going to verify that you are a legitimate person and you're not just a scammer, you know, looking to scam old ladies, you know? Um, so this, so once your business is verified, it also does come with a product that pretty much ensures that your existing phone number within Astro Blaster and any future phone number no longer pops up as spam, right? Um, so that takes care of the phone number. Now, there are some key words within your text messages that we're now advising you guys not to say, um, like, like um, you know, I'm a real person um, or like I'm an investor, I'm looking to purchase, use the word buy or sell. Like there are a few key words that carriers do not like. Um, and we do recommend that you do not use. Um, but other than that, like I can show I can like within just today, a brand new account uh, that I did not even fully set up myself. My deliverability rate is 98%. So like, I don't know what happened to the other 2%. Might've been a bad phone number or what, but carriers are loving me so far. Uh, when I place partners on the platform, can I, can I then remove them if needed? Plus keep the deal separate. Um, yes. Yes. So within, within your settings, uh, and this also is covered in the onboarding course is the ability to add users. So if it's you and a partner, um, or if you want to hire a VA to, to handle this, um, or if you have employees, you can add users onto Astro Blaster. Um, and what is nice is you can give them or restrict uh, some, some usability within, within the Astro, Blasting, uh, Astro Blaster uh, platform. So um, if you don't want them to have the ability to tinker with the workflows, tinker around with the tags, um, there are some things that you can take away from them. So this way, um, they're really just focused on whatever responsibilities that you give them. Right. Um, and pretty much how you can also, um, how you can, are you guys still looking at my screen? Yeah. Right. I'll pull it back up. Okay. Um, another thing that is super cool is if you have multiple users, um, I know sometimes it can be like, oh, well, what if we're sharing the same conversations tab and we're both reaching out to agents? Like, how do we know whose is who? Um, what is super nice is if you go to filters and you just filter it by who, who the contact was assigned to now, um, you'll notice because none of these agents were assigned to me. Um, or oh, actually it does, I guess it was assigned to me, JK, but once you, um, once you upload contacts, it will, now that I remember it will assign to a specific individual. So, um, for anybody, that's a great way to kind of filter out your conversation. So this way. You know, if it's you and a partner doing outreach to agents, you guys aren't stepping on each other's toes. So you can filter out the conversations tab to make sure like, okay, like I only want to see my, my users, not bodies. You know what I mean? Um, or like my agents. Um, but yeah, so like that, that is a great way. And that is a good question because I know a lot of people have um, had concerns about like, how would you navigate it if there's multiple people on the platform? I saw a couple questions about um, adjusting for time zone, like when you set up your campaign and stuff. That is a great question. So um, typically how I like to do it easily in my head, um, you know, there are some complicated, um, there are some complicated situations where if you're central time, but um for whatever reason you want to uh, like say, like say if I'm the East coast, but I want to work the California market. Yeah, you can, you can set your contacts to be um, to only really reach out to them and make sure like their time zone is, is specific standard time um, to make sure that obviously if I, if I go within my contacts here and I schedule a campaign to be sent out at 9.00 AM, I'm, it's pretty much you're telling the system that if you set your contact to be in Pacific standard time, that you're sending out the campaign 9 a.m. Pacific standard time and not 9 a.m. Eastern my time. You know what I mean? So, you, yes, you can you can um, pretty much assign your contacts to be in a specific time zone. So this way you're not ha accidentally texting agents at like five in the morning. I saw some uh, 
comments there with respect to, you know, potential laws coming down the pipeline about, you know, texting and, and carriers and uh, definitely something to think about and, and, and uh, take note of. But I, I do want you guys to remember that when we're texting real estate agents, it's a completely different ball game than when you're texting homeowners. Okay, real estate agents are people who have advertised their phone number to be contacted. They do not have the same protections as a homeowner or somebody who's, you, whose cell phone you're texting that is a private citizen that is not advertising to be contacted as a business. So there's completely different laws, completely different rules of engagement. And that's the reason why we don't go direct to seller using Astro Blaster because we just don't even want to get into that muddy water. So appreciate the thoughts and the concerns there. They're absolutely things to think about. And thank you for bringing those up. Uh, and I think that for people that are texting homeowners, that that's going to change for you guys very soon. If you're doing direct to seller and you're texting people and finding out if they want to sell their house, that's going to definitely come down the pipe. So you want to learn about this. You want to learn how you can leverage agent outreach to do deals instead of having to go directly to homeowners. Guys, I just wanted to let you know, uh, we are at 95% capacity. Thank you so much for everybody so. who participated in today's uh, opportunity to jump in. Uh, it's phenomenal. What a, what a great, what a great response. Ethan, you crushed it today, man. Like I, Thank it was know. really incredible to see just how fast you were able to create opportunities just from your initial outreach, you know, and, and, and to see the, the, the level of response that you were getting, you know, people were not rude. People did not think you were a robot. People did not say you were spam. Nope. That is the main thing. I, I want everybody to think about that. You, we didn't get any rude messages. We didn't get any F offs. We didn't get any cussing. We had near 40% response rate, 40%. Get a near 40% response rate, and it was mainly positive, mainly people saying, yeah, let's, I'll put you into my, uh, what's your email address? What are your criteria? Are you pre-approved? Like asking the right questions. I mean, think about that. Think about how powerful this will be automating your follow-ups while you're just sitting at your W-2 job watching your Astro Blaster create opportunities for you so that when you're off of work, you can actually harvest those opportunities. And this is what I tell people that are in the Astro community and people that are in the Astro Blaster platform that they, how they should be time blocking their day. You are absolutely going to be needing to stay at your job until you generate enough money to leave it. Okay, so don't go quitting your job. Keep your job. Okay, but set your campaigns in the morning. Go to your job. Go trade your time for, work, for, for money. As soon as you get off, you will have people to call. Call those people on your way home. Call those people when you get home. You literally can take what would take most people eight hours to do. You'll be able to now accomplish in a matter of one or two hours in calling up the people that you need to follow up with because of the work the Astro Blaster did for you. So does this, will this platform do all your work for you? Absolutely not. And anybody who tries to tell you anything out there that will is lying to you. Everything is going to require you to do work. But what this platform does will take what would take you eight hours and reduces that time to about two. And you'll still hit your 50 conversations a day. And what we know is that if you're having 50 conversations a day with agents, that will lead you to at least three to five deals a month. Three to five deals a month on an average of Ten to fifteen thousand dollars a deal is around thirty to fifty thousand dollars a month, and that's the income that Andy is getting in high school. Y'all are you guys? I mean, for for those of you that are complaining Crazy. about not having finances, Andy is making more money than a lot of people in high school. He's seventeen years old, and that's the platform he's using to do it. It is what it is. We are at the end of our time, and before I go, I just wanted to thank Ethan. Ethan, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, providing us your uh, your time, for for being as generous as you are with your knowledge, and for being a part of the Astro Blaster community, bro. Your the coaching calls that you do on Thursday are invaluable. The amount of help and support that you've been giving the community is invaluable. I know that you're doing this. By the way, Ethan, uh, 
so everybody understands, right? That, that Ethan, did I pay you anything to to come to today? No, not at all. Guys, I'm not like he's doing this because he believes in the platform. He believes in the product. It, he, he got paid twenty thousand dollars, and he's so happy about it. He's like, I want to, I want to share with people my success. No, I think you're shooting yourself in the foot if you don't use it. Like honestly, like like I mentioned, you're for for the individual who might be just getting into wholesaling or even like the full time expert, right? It only makes your life easier. So I don't see why I don't see like why you wouldn't want to. Amazing. Emily, can I see you for a quick minute? Thank you as always, Emily, for allowing us uh, you, time in your day and being here with us and 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 sharing, um, helping put this live stream together and promoting it and putting it on all the Facebook pages and sending it out in all the emails. You're phenomenal. We love you very much. Thank you. Uh, guys, we are now at 97% capacity in the Astro Blaster. There's a, a few more of you are going to be able to skate in before we shut this thing down. Um, so hit the link. Hit the link. Take a, take a chance. Take a chance. If, if you are, are on the fence right now, it's not that you're on the fence on the platform. You're on the fence about yourself. It's the truth. You still haven't bought into the fact that you're actually going to be able to do this. And that's okay. If you are not confident that you're going to be able to do this, then, then wait, wait. But if you do have the belief, if you do have the belief in yourself that you can put at least two hours into this a day, that you can harvest the crop, that you're okay planting the seeds and then coming back to harvest the crop. If you can at least do that, why are you not taking action? Ask yourself that. From myself and everybody else on this entire family of people that are here for your benefit, that are here to help you get financial freedom through wholesale real estate, because it is the bomb, guys. I became a millionaire buying and selling houses that I never take title to. What a trip. What a flipping trip. It's, it's amazing. It freed me. It freed Emily. Her husband's closing on a deal tomorrow, a land deal that he's doing with the Astro Flipping community. Um, they're going to make a bunch of money. It's the best. You guys all deserve this. Every single one of you guys deserve it. Hop on. There's a 98%, guys. There's a couple more of you that are going to be able to sneak in. Hit the link. Join the family. Every Thursday night, there's a coaching call. We love you. God bless you. Have a fantastic day.